And then, while I was looking at this creature, trying to appeal to it, no pain anymore, no pain, please, I was pleading. Pictures suddenly flooded my mind. Pictures of buildings sunk in a red, in a red lake of, of water. Buildings rotting away. Buildings that appeared as if they had been bombed. And cities sunk in terrible mud. Trees sticking out like rotten ghosts. Trees without leaves, without branches, sticking out of the mud as if they had been poisoned. I saw visions of this. And then, through an entrance which I had not seen before, came a strange and terrible being. It was exactly like this. It was tall, made entirely of metal, with burning eyes and a snout. It didn't do anything. It just moved and came to stand at my left side. It didn't touch me or anything like that. It just stood there, making a strange humming sound. Wow, 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 like that. And then, from behind this metal creature, there appeared another creature. It was so radically different from the great creatures in that it looked exactly like an earthly human being. It had a pink skin, like that of an, a, a white woman. It had golden hair, and its ears were definitely pointed like those of an animal. Its eyes were slightly slanting. They were pale, pale blue, and never once did they blink. It was like this, mute, and there was a tail-like appendage at its back, which was very visible as it walked away after it had done to me what it did. What this thing did, it climbed over me and made love to me. And I noticed that unlike normal women, its breasts were set too high in its chest, and they were very, very hard in appearance. And that here, the pubic hair as well as the hair in the armpits was a fiery red as if it had been dyed. And this thing didn't even blink. Its eyes were just like this, looking at you as if the, she, there, were no, there was no liquid in the eyes. Just an unblinking terrible stare. And it was a small creature about the size of a 16-year-old girl. But it was very, very heavy as it sat on top of me. And there was no emotion in that whole nonsense. There was no... You know, I never... And... Then the creatures took me out of that room after the metal creature and this pink creature had gone. This creature took me out of that room assisted by another one. And they pushed me along a corridor which curved slowly in that direction. In, in the towards my right. And there I was shown many things which even today I don't understand. I was shown little versions of this creature swimming in huge cylinders of what, made out of what looked like glass. 
in a pinky, pinkish liquid, like ugly little tad, little frogs inside the liquid. They looked like, like aborted human fetuses. They were very, very terrible and disgusting. And then we came to another room, and there I saw a number of people undergoing the same torture that I had undergone. One particular person who, whom I passed very close to was a white man, definitely a European, with a yellowish beard and moustache and long, straggly blood, blood-crusted hair. This man looked into my eyes and I looked into his eyes. And we were so, so close we were as I went past him. Then, to cut a long story short, I found myself in the bush again. But, but I was wearing only my shirt. My boots were gone and so was my trousers. So I took off my shirt and wore it around my waist as a, a, a loin cloth. And I started traveling, not knowing really in which direction I was going. Then I came to a track and I walked along that. And some time later I saw people coming towards me.